Hey, tubers. Bart coming at you. Mm. Happy Tuesday. Just two cards. So hopefully a relatively quick mail day, but um, two good ones. Both of these have kind of been on the list for a long time. They are, they fit very well into my PC while not fitting in, in, into any specific niche of the PC. Just cool cards that if you're a card collector, you want to have. So I finally got me a Joe Lewis from 48 Leaf. Always thought I'd get a little bit higher grade, but this 1.5 looked just right for me. Nicely centered, and that's really what I look for. Uh, when I was an early collector, I kind of went more for grades and things like that, and I still do sometimes, but uh, the old stuff where, you know, unless I'm getting at the, the highest of highest end to compete in some registry, I'm not even getting anywhere near enough points to really matter, so then I might as well just get the aesthetic. So uh, typically, the, one of the first things I go after is the centering, and this one is nicely centered. So uh, Joe Lewis, uh, I didn't know it at the time. I guess I probably subliminally knew it, but it, it's in the top 200 and top 250 cards of the hobby registry or whatever, so... Pretty overall popular card there, but very happy to have it. Been looking for a long time. Love my 48 Leafs. Um, and as you can see, both cards that I got to show you fit on the the display and already got spots for them. So you know they're going to be pretty decent if they've got a spot in that main display there. So that was the first one. And then this next one, always had my look, eye on it, but... Um, it's almost like a, a luxury item in the PC where you kind of have like mainline PC stuff that you focus on. Um, and then there's just random tangential stuff, you know. Um, if the, the stars align, then you know, maybe I just might get that one. And uh, I feel like the stars aligned. Um, I had basically just gotten paid, which means I just got my fresh... Uh, allowance from that paycheck as it goes as, as I budget these things uh, and Mr. B. Roth at Card Soup slapped this sucker up for sale and I said I'm interested and got me a beautiful 1954 Red Heart Stan Musial um, I think I, it, he's my fa it's my favorite Stan Musial card he doesn't have enough cards by any means very few actually compared to, you know, I think he paid 24 years or something like that. So compared to how many years he played, he doesn't have that many. Um, and I, I, I just think this one's great. Uh, you know, the only thing it's missing is like a bat on his shoulder, but you see the old school logos, the hat, you know, I, I like these much more than just portraits where you got a little bit more of the, the upper part of it. And just I, I have a great classic looking card. So very happy with that. Shout out to B. Roth for uh, working out a deal with me. Uh, a gentleman and a scholar, as always. Um, and I did. I don't, know to, I don't look in this book enough, probably. But uh, as recommended by many of the aficionados here on YouTube, I picked this up, I don't know how long ago. It's a big-ass book, and it's heavy. But classic baseball cards. And it's got everything from 1886 to 1956. So I looked up the Red Heart... And it has a nice ad of what that looked like. And how you got these cards was there were three sets of 11 players each. And you sent them two Red Heart labels, which is dog food, and 10 cents. And you told them which set you wanted, and they mailed you the cards back. So if you fed your dog Red Heart and you had 30 cents, you could get all 33 cards. Good number of Hall of Famers. Musial, obviously there's a Mickey Mantle in there, so most folks are aware of that. But you could also get a Red Heart baseball cap, a t-shirt, autographed baseballs, pennants, all kinds of stuff just by sending in those labels. So I uh, wish they kind of did that stuff more often now. You know, like kids would, I don't know, you could get into that. Kids get into whether it was the hobby or just something else, little trinkets and stuff in the mail. Kids are would be excited about seeing if the post came and everything like that. I wish they did a little bit more of that nowadays. But um, that is what I got for you. Very happy to have that one, and that will be a mainstay on the display. Uh, All-time classic look for me, so I'm digging it. 
Uh, thanks for watching. That's all I got. Till next time. Cheers.